expanding uh, pairs of bracket. Okay, so if you have two brackets like this and you have to expand, <coughs> say this is say x plus 5 times x plus 6. So these are two brackets. You've got x plus 5 in the first bracket and x plus 6 in the second bracket. So basically what you have to do is you expand x or multiply x with this bracket. So this is the first step. What you're doing is you're multiplying x to this bracket, which is x plus 6. And then you multiply this 5 to the same bracket, which is x plus 6. And this is called the distributive property. And this is something that you have done in numbers. Suppose, let me give you an example. Yeah, so let me finish this off. So this means, this is x times x. So let me do this step. So this is x times x plus x times 6 plus 5 times x plus 5 times 6. And this is multiplying x to this x, so x times x, then x times 6 plus 5 times x plus 5 times 6. So now you have to simplify this. So what does this mean? x times x means x squared plus 6 times x we write as a convention 6x. This is 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 6 is 30. And now this is, you have to simplify, these are called like terms. So you've got 6 lots of x plus 5 lots of x, 5 lots of x, which gives you 11 lots of x. And that's your answer. You can't add these three terms because they're unlike terms. So this is x squared will remain x squared. 11x will remain 11x and 30 will remain 30 and that's your answer. Now you may wonder where have you done this previously? Yes, you have. Suppose, let me give you an example in number. Suppose if it is 14 times 18. Okay, you can do using the same logic. So this is 10 plus 4 times 10 plus 8. So this is same as 10 times 10 plus 8 plus 4 times 10 plus 8. And now 10 times, so this is the same as 10 times 10, plus 10 times 8, plus 4 times 10, plus 4 times 8. So this is 100, plus 80, plus 40, plus 32. So now you can, the only difference between this and this is you can add all of them because now they are all numbers. So this is 120, so this is 120, if you add these three, plus 32 is 152. So let's check this on a calculator. So 1, 14 times, what was the question? 14 times 18, so 14 times 18 is 2. Oh, yes, I've done a mistake. So 100 plus, so this is 220. Yeah, this is 120. 120 plus 100 is 220 plus 32 is 252. Okay, and that's what we got. So let me do it again. 14 times 18. It's always good to check. 18 is 252. Okay, so what would happen uh, if you have, uh, let's put a minus somewhere. You can make up your own questions like this. So x plus 4 times x minus 3. So the same logic, you're multiplying x to this, this whole bracket and then 4 to this whole bracket. So this is x bracket x minus 3 plus 4 times x minus 3. I would like you to do, for some of you, you can do directly this step but it is better to do more step initially. So now you have to expand this with this. So this is x times x minus x times 3. And then you got a plus 4. So plus, so I treat this as a plus 4. So this is plus 4 times x plus 4 
times negative 3. Okay, so treat this as a plus 4, so plus 4 times x. Uh, then plus 4, or you can also have written minus uh, minus 3 times 4. This is the same, you're right, multiplying 4 to this negative 3. So I'm treating this as a negative 3, not minus 3 as mi negative 3. Okay, so this can be a bit confusing for some of you. So I'll say it again. So 4 times x. Oh, I've done a mistake here. So let me delete this. This is not 4 times 3. I should have written 4 times x. Four plus 4 times x plus 4 times negative 3. So now this is x squared. This is minus 3x plus 4x. And plus, plus 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Okay, so now you have to simplify this. So this is same as, so for some of you, you, are, you may struggle with integers. This is same as plus 4x take away 3x, which is plus 1x, or x take away 12. And that's your answer. So I would like you to make up your own questions like this. So you can make up, suppose, let me say, put, if what would happen if you have x, minus 4 times x plus 3. Okay, so I've just swapped the signs. What would happen if you have x minus 4 times x minus 3? Okay, so you can do these questions yourself. So what would, how would you do x minus 4 times x minus 4? And this is how you can make your own problems, x minus 3 times x minus 3. Uh, what would happen if it is x plus 3 times x minus 3. And finally, what would happen if you got x plus 4 times x minus 4. I would like you to do these questions yourself.